What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay, so we got healed by this old lady, took a nice nap, and now it is finally time to get the heck out of here because we got a lot of stuff to go to cover right here at Route 111 and uh, whatever route that is. Okay, first is first. Off screen, I actually did go to the bike shop to actually get myself my mock bike just because. Uh, this area right here, this little mud area, so I'm gonna go right through it as you can see. Now you can find some indentures right here, you can actually make your secret baits wherever. But that's not the story right here, what I want to do is I actually want to battle everybody. Everybody in sight, that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing, and this guy is like running left and right. I mean, he could run here, he could run there, I don't know. It's kinda, it's kinda weird, kinda weird that he's just like, you know, going left and right. Okay. So let's go right here, and uh, well, as you can see, you can slide down right now, but unfortunately, you still won't be able to get to the desert right there. So yeah, it's moving me away right here, and I'm, I gotta, I gotta, yeah, that's, I gotta get right back over here. So let's go back and uh, actually battle this guy right here. So let's see, I got Raphael from the last episode, and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch it to guy because yeah, homeboy, he has a fighting type Pokemon. Don't want to battle that. So here we go. To train myself, I challenge all whom I meet. Alrighty, so here we go. Another battle. And it's against Black Belt Daisuke. Or Daisuke. Could be wrong. It's kind of like Shinsuke. You know, Shinsuke Nakamura, that kind of stuff. But the Daisuke coming out. And uh, yeah, he does have some. Uh, he does have some fighting type Pokemon, which is good. It's good for me. Gaia. Nose confusion destroys Machop just like that. Look at that. You, you you feel you feel so little. You're a loser. Uncle! I give up. Really, man, you, you gotta capture more Pokemon. I mean, you have to. Now, as you can see, there are quite a few pl places right here where you can actually make a secret base. Uh, there's one right here, and uh, you can actually battle somebody over at the desert. Uh, am I gonna create a secret place? Nah, at the moment we got more important stuff to do right here. So let's go back and uh, let's see what route are we? Oh yeah, Route 113. Already battled her, and now we're going into Route 113, an area where there's a lot of ash falling from the sky, and that's mainly because of the uh, volcano uh, close by here. Now let's see, not that. Now if you run into any of these grasses right here, of course the first person, the first grass that I step on, we get attacked by a Pokemon you will be able to actually find some good Pokemon. Now, if you step on the grass where the dust or the, the ashes are, you will be able to actually collect any, uh, the, these kinds of uh, ashes right here to make secret uh, some kind of items. But you need a pouch in order for that uh, to happen. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to use a Repel because, uh, yeah, I don't want to be bothered by any of these Pokemon right here. You can actually find Skarmory in this, in this general area right here. So... That's another Pokemon that you should probably keep an eye out for, you know, that kind of stuff. I don't know. So I'm going to go back to Raphael right here. Need to battle him for the first time. And he, this kid's saying, it's fun walking through the volcano's ashes on the ground and grass. You can see where we walked. It's really neat. It really is. Kind of is. And, uh, okay, so we got two battles right here. So let's go ahead and take this guy on. He's like, can you guess why it's cool to, uh, so cool around here? Gee, I don't know. Probably... It has something to do with the volcano. I just want to know about that. So here we go. Youngster Jalen wants to battle us. Coming out with his Trampage. It's the first time I'm seeing a Trampage. Look at this. Raphael. Coming out. Ready to kick some butt. So I'm going to go with some Ember. And this guy's actually faster than a Trampage. This is like amazing for me. Because, you know, Raphael is kind of a tortoise. You know, that kind of stuff. You don't want to uh, mess with that. And here we go again with another Ember attack. Nothing right there. So here we go. One more Ember attack. For the win. Look at that. Raphael's already doing well right now. And uh, that's the end of this guy. He's like, pew, that stinks. Kind of does stink, right? And uh, let's see, the volcano ash blocks the sun so it doesn't get very warm. That's good for me. I can't stand the heat. Yet you're wearing. S yeah, okay, I'm not even going to question you. So let's go to the next battle right here. I think. No, this is not a battle. I don't know. But we have two people right there, and, uh, okay, so I, I got the Pokemon. No, oh, actually, we got three people. Holy crud. Oh, wow. Okay, so we're going to have a double, triple battle right here. And this guy's like, thanks for finding me, but we still have to battle. And this guy ambushes me, and he's like, were you maybe in the middle of a gathering of volcano ashes? I don't know. Probably. I don't know. 
probably. So here we go, guys. Another battle against Ninja Boy Lung and Camper Lawrence. All right. And uh, they're coming out with some newer Pokemon that, you know, I still haven't ca captured off screen. But here I have my Raphael and Raiden. And uh, let's go with a Fire Spin with this guy and a Shockwave with that guy. We're going to take... Oh, wow. Yeah, we're going to take on Coughing right here. And uh, good for us. Shockwave actually works. Look at that. Take, nearly takes him out right there. And that Raw Tomb nearly hits us. And uh, just like that, Self-Destruct nearly takes out Raphael, but takes out Raiden right there. That is... Wow. Sabotaging everything. So he hits everything in sight right there. And uh, Raphael easily gets to level 20 right there. And he's about to learn Body Slam. So that's a good, good thing. And, uh, oh, crush. So I'm going to take out Fire Spin because, uh, yeah. I kind of need Curse just for the uh, boost on defense and all that stuff. And, uh, let's see. Do they have more Pokemon? Yes, they do. So he's coming out with a Ninja which is also good for us. And, uh, let's see, let's see. You know what? Claymore needs more battling. It's kind of annoying. And, uh, let's see, let's see. Ooh, coming out with this Saiyan True. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to use that Super Potion because, I mean, I don't want to faint, especially on the first uh, full episode for Raphael. And let's just use Rock Tomb on this guy. Yes, Ninjask is a little faster than us because it's a big old fast fly and all that stuff. And, wow, scratch attack. So Claymore goes with the Rock Tomb attack, does some damage. Goodbye, Ninjask. Buh bye And uh, Raphael... You know, gaining some points, and I do not need to heal him anymore. So, what we're gonna do is use that body slam attack, which you know should work, and a uh, metal claw right here. Let's go, Claymore. Look at that. Takes enough, and it's increasing its attack. When was this gonna happen? Wanted it to happen. I don't know. Should have happened quite a while ago. But here's that body slam attack. And it takes out the Sandshrew. So right now, picking Raphael is a very good idea. Pretty strong Pokemon right now. And he's just like, my Ninjutsu, Volcanic, uh, yeah, 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 whatever. I'm not even going to read that. And, uh, well, everybody's being a sore loser right now. And this guy just doesn't give us a break. He's like, you, you want to battle with me even though I just caught my Pokemon? I might as well. I might as well battle you. I mean, nothing's stopping us, right? So here we go. Pokemaniac Wyatt coming out with his Auron right here. And, uh, hmm... I think I have the right move for you. Let's go with some Rock Smash. Strong enough? Yes. I knew there was a good reason, and its defense is just low, and that's good. That's good. Okay. But there's a headbutt attack. You can't you can't impregnate my defense. And there we go. Wow, Raphael is just beasting right now. Look at that. Raphael's beasting. And he's coming out with another Auron right here, so I'm just going to stay with, you know, Raphael. You know, give it some more battles because, you know, it's a pretty cool Pokemon right now. I'm actually glad I got this guy. It's actually changing my mind on a, on a future Pokemon I want to get. kind of is. And there's that Metal Claw attack that doesn't really work. So here we go again with another Rock Smash attack. And uh, nearly beats this guy. Yeah, you should have started with that with the Iron Defense. So let's go, Rock Smash attack yet again. Bye bye, Auron. Yeah, Auron's been defeated. Raphael's kicking some butt, and he, yeah, yeah, I, I, I defeated you pretty easily like that. And uh, where do I get out from here? Oh, look at that. Find ourselves an item, and we found ourselves a Super Repel, which is very, very useful around here because I'm about to run out on, of uh, repels right here. Or, a repel dude repels effect and uh, before we go any further we need to huh it would seem that I don't have a did I buy revives or do I have revives no I don't have revives balls okay um yeah Raiden needs to wake up I need to get it to level 20 right here and uh, there goes that repel effect and uh, let's see do I have any other oh, crud man I I do not have a yeah I do not have a lot of uh, repels right here so I'm gonna go back and actually heal up my Pokemon I know it's waste of time and all that stuff I should have just you know gone up gone up without reviving Raiden but I kind of need Raiden right here 
So the old lady's right here, and she's like, yes, your Pokemon need to rest up. Yes, I'm going to rest up my Pokemon. And everybody is rested up. Thank you. No, I am not tired yet. I need to get the heck out of here. Crazy old lady. Alrighty, let's go. Back to it, and uh, I'm actually going to use my bike right here. Look at that. Look how fast I am going. Right here, and again, first step, first Pokemon, and uh, it would seem that Slugma wants a home. Yeah, I'm not going to give you a home. I shouldn't give you a home, so I'm going to get the heck out of here. And going right through. Yes, I didn't get attacked by a Pokemon right here. I'm going to get off my bike right now, so let's see. I think a Super Repel would actually work. All right, let's use this. I really don't want to battle any of the Pokemon right here. And uh, here we have a Parasol Lady. So what we're going to do now is actually switch it up to Raiden. And uh, we're going to keep on going. And here she is. She's like, I use a Parasol to ward off this filthy, yucky volcano ash from my dear Numel. Did I pick the right Pokemon? I don't think I picked the, bro, the right Pokemon. So there we go. Parasol Lady Madeline coming out with her uh, Numel. Hmm. Bring it on, Numel. And, uh, okay, so I don't really have the attack power or anything like that. So I'm going to go with Swamp Lord right here. And uh, Raiden, come back. Let's go with Swamp Lord. Hmm. Not that effective, which is good. Good, good. And, uh, wow, I have mostly ground-type attacks. That needs to change pretty soon here. And, uh, look at that. A good, super effective. That's right, Numo. And, uh, Swamp Lord grows to level 29. We're getting to level 30 pretty quickly right here. Look at that. And she's exhausted already. Hmm. Okay. Whatever. And, yes, she wants to register us to her Pokemon, which is all... It's, it's good. More Pokemon battles for us. And, uh, we've got a Pokemon battle right here. So let's go ahead and actually switch Raphael with Claymore. And let's go. They collect that Pokemon Ashes, which is good. Which is good. Okay, I guess. So, here we go. Twins, Tori, and Tia want to battle, and she, they both come out with Spindas, which you can actually capture right around this area right here. And uh, let's go with a Shockwave, and let's go with a Headbutt right here. See what happens. Shockwave. Look at that. And it takes a nice chunk, and wow. Turns out Claymore is not that fast right now. But it's very defensive, so that's good, that's good, and uh, I guess they want to take out Claymore first. They should be worried about Raiden first, because it's the, it's the Lord of Thunder right here. Let's see. I'm going to go with you. Whoa, 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 did I pick, did I just pick my Pokemon? No. Okay. And here we go. Shockwave attack. Nearly defeats that Spinda, and uh, come on. Faint attack here, and uh, another faint attack. Hmm. Using teamwork and all that stuff. That's good. They're using teamwork, but here we go. Headbutt attack. Jeez. And uh, okay, quick attack. Headbutt and say goodbye to one Spinda. That's right. No more Spinda. And uh, wow, here comes the side beam. Please do not faint, Raiden. Oh God. Nearly faints, but yeah, there we go. Beats Spinda, and Raiden finally grows to level 20, and it's trying to learn Spark. Wow, it's first electric move that it's actually learning. You know what? I'm going to take away... Hold on just a sec. Actually, i got to take away how. Uh, it doesn't have... What was it called? Uh, the static effect, I guess. And there we go. Spark attack. And everybody... Well, they, they, yeah, they could win. They're bored. Whatever. I don't know. All right, so... First is first. I got to. Uh, I got. I got to heal Raiden right here, the Lord of Thunder. And uh, let's see, who is a good Pokemon to actually use right now? Could use Shroom Lee right now. I'm gonna go with Swamp Lord. Try to get it to level 30. All right, getting through this whole dusty area, and here we have the Max Ether. Very good item. Hardly use it. Cause probably I don't need it. And uh, here we have another gentleman right here. So let's go ahead and battle. And he's like, wow, today's technology is, wonder th is a wondrous thing. Take this volcanic ash here. It can be fashioned into glass, which is true. Very, very true. So we're going to go inside right here. And, uh, well, if you talk to this guy right here, he's going to be telling you this. This area is covered in volcanic ash. Huff, huff, or huff, puff. I'm specially gifted, huff, puff. 
I make glasses, all right? I make glass out of volcano ash and make it, uh, make it, uh, make items, Huff Puff. Go collect ashes with this, Huff Puff. The suit sack. That's good. Very good suit sack. So he's like, just take the suit sack and walk through the piles of ash, Huff Puff. And it will fill up with volcano ash, Huff Puff. Once you think you've got a collective a good amount, come see me, Huff Puff. And after you collected a good amount, talk to this kid, and of course, I think... No, actually, you know what? You talk to this guy right here, and he'll actually, you know, he'll actually give you, uh, or make an item for you. So what we're gonna do right now is we're just gonna collect some ashes right here. I know I'm gonna probably waste my repel. So I'm gonna go right here, collecting the ashes. I, I would like to say that I, I would collect maybe 100 steps, maybe, 100 steps worth. So if you go back up here and talk to this guy, he's like, have you collected enough? And he's like, there's not enough right here. You can't make glass from here. You need 198 steps in order to, you know, to make the blue flute. There are quite a few flutes that you can actually make, guys. I think the blue flute kind of, uh, I think it takes away confusion. I could be wrong. Comment down below, guys. This is why you're here. And, uh, no, I'm not going to switch out my Pokemon right here. Talk to this kid. This guy's like, from out the ashes, I leap. Hiya, I challenge thee. Okay. Alrighty. So we have another ninja. And this guy, his name is Lau. Alright, Lau. Bring it on, homeboy. Alright. Um, so all my attacks can't hit it, except for water gun. So what we're gonna do is just water gun the crap out of him. Let's go. Water gun. Let's do it. Water gun again. The Swamp Lord defeats Coffin right here. And, uh, okay, let's see. He's coming out with another coffin. So, I guess guy is a good good choice right here. Very, very good choice. Excellent. And, uh, let's see. Ninja Boy Lao coming out with his coffin right here. And I'm gonna just, well, copy the, the levitate right here. But, of course, this guy's not gonna hit me with any kind of ground type moves. And, uh, there we go. Coffin defeated. Fatality. And, uh, look at that. Because of that fatality... Level 23, and I'm gonna continue on right here with my Gaia, and uh, let's see, let's go with another confusion attack. All right, all right, all right. Look at that, another coughing, bites dust, literally and figuratively, or just a literally. And yes, he admits defeat right here, and uh, of course he wants to give me his phone number here. Luckily, not not a lot of people called me. Well, there are people that called me. They, they have called me, it's just off screen, which is cool, and crud. The repel has, uh, has uh, went, or were worn off, I should say, and uh, now we can actually find some Pokemon, which many of you guys already know, Spinda you can actually find right here, and uh, I'm going to run away. I don't want to capture you. I don't. And, uh, wow, another Pokemon battle right here, and uh, there is an abundance of uh, Spindas right here. An abundance. All right. No more, no more spindas, and, uh, well, let's go ahead and battle this kid right here. He's like the volcano's eruption. It's proof that the Earth is alive. You think? You know, he shouldn't be called a youngster. He should be called, like, know-it-all Dylan. That's, that should be a good name right there. Would you agree, guys? Swamp Lord. Uh, I'm going to go with a water gun attack right here. And, uh... That's right. No more Aron right there. Aron defeated. Aron taken out. And he's like, you're some kind of strong. Heck yes, I am. And uh, is that the last of our battles? I don't think. No, it's not. And right here, Route 113 to Fall Arbor Town. And uh, well, we got a double battle. I kind of want to do a double battle. So let's go straight to Raphael. Let's, let's use more of our new Pokemon right here. And uh, let's see. One, two. There we go. The warmth here is making me drowsy. Battle with me so I can stay awake. Or stay woke. Poof. With this wings, I can flick you away. Hmm. Kind of weird. But okay. Let's see what happens right here. So here we have Picnicker Sophie and Bird Kiefer Kobe. And uh, they want to come out with a battle right here. And uh... Oh crud. She's got herself a Skarmory. Luckily for me, I do have a Raphael. A.K.A. Torkoal. And I'm going to use, wow. Okay, you know what? Mud Shot for this guy. And Ember for that guy. And look at that. Feel the Mud Shot in your face. 
Bye bye So easy. Easy stuff. And uh, she has another Pokemon. Oh, oh wow. And uh, now I really have to switch right here. And uh, Crud. This uh, sand attack has lowered my accuracy. So here we go. Ember attack. Nearly beats Skarmory right there. And uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Huh. Okay, I, I'm going to take a risk right here. So let's go. Mudshot does not work. And that agility, agility attack right there is just uh, going to sharply raise its speed right here. And, uh, oh, crud. Completely forgot about Lombre's uh, other typing, you know. Come on. Here we go. Ember attack on that Skarmory. And like I said, you can actually find Skarmory at Route 113. Very good Pokemon to actually have, I guess. And, uh, well, here we come out with another Swe- Or, here we come out with a Swellow. And I'm going to go with uh, Mudshot right there. And I'm going to go with a Body Slam. So we're going to take out... We're going to take out the, the, the biggest threat right here. And that is uh, Lombre. It has, a, it has a, an advantage over both my Swamp Lord and Raphael. And this guy right here is just getting lucky. Not getting hit at all. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. Body Slam. Come on. Nearly beats him. Um, screw that. Let's just let Raphael destroy the crud out of a uh, out of Lombard right here. And uh, that was a critical hit. Swamp Lord, what the heck is the matter with you, man? Oh, crud. Oh, crud. Oh, crud. Didn't know that was going to happen. Oh, God. And, whoa, it didn't really affect my, my Raphael a lot. Oh, that's cool. So here we go, Body Slam, for the win, eat it, Lombre, hmm, let's go with a Water Gun and Body Slam, and this guy is focusing its energy, I think it just used Double Team quite a few times, so, here we go, Water Gun Attack, that's right, and here we go, missed with the Body Slam, I'm gonna go again with the Water Gun and a Body Slam right here, and this guy is just trying to take out my Swamp Lord right here, Bye bye there we go. Swallow defeated. That's right. You're being defeated, and Raphael grows to level 22. This Pokemon is... I'm starting to love... I'm starting to love Raphael right here. This Pokemon is, uh... You know, he's growing fast. Growing really, really fast. So, now we got done with those guys, and here we are in Fall Arbor Town. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna stay right here, guys. Thank you guys for watching. In the next episode, we will be taking a tour of Fall Arbor Town, and all the other uh, things that might happen within Fall Arbor Town. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.